No, we mustn't. <laughs> yes. Yes, we must. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why, Margaret? Why? Is it practicing for a play? <laughs> that I'm not in. <laughs> Boy, I really hurt myself there. <laughs> I'll be walking in circles for days. <laughs> Please welcome my next guest, who is, in fact, a comedy legend. He's been on, uh, on the late night shows, going back to Jack Parr. He's been in fantastic movies, the wacky world, 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 mad, 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 world, world, world movie. Uh, he, he really is a comedy legend. Please welcome the glory that is Jonathan Winters, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Please take a seat, Jonathan. I knew you were going to say that. Uh huh. Either that or drop dead, you know, because I was just a really, truly appreciating the audience. I came all the way from Scotland to see my lad here, you know. I'm sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. You will when you get the papers. Ah, oh, come on. Sit down. How are you? You're not Scottish, are you? Not really. Winters isn't a well, Scottish name. No, but uh, my mother. God rest her soul. I don't know where she is right now. I know she's not with us. Right. Uh, she's hopefully somewhere through the clouds. Right. Um, she Denver? was. She was a yeah, Denver. Yeah. She was. She was. Uh, she was a Kilgore. Well, Alice Kilgore Rogers. So Scotch Irish. Scotch Irish. See the worst kind. You can't get along in Ireland. They won't give you the booze. And uh, in Scotland, you have to stay in the heather, or whatever you know. I am. Uh... Now listen, tell you've been doing the uh, you've been doing the television for a long time. Yes, you yes. Did, you did Jack Parr show. Did you yes. Did, did uh, Johnny Carson show. Yes. Did, that, did all of these things. Do you think the television's better now, or was it better then? Well, when you say better, um, I think it was more overall more inf not just those shows. They were good shows. I, I, I tell you, they were fun shows for me. I right. can't speak for other guys. From the standpoint, Johnny number one. And Parr, uh, another guy, Steve uh, Allen, another. Of course, yeah. And like yourself. Uh, no, 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 I don't think I'm like any of these guys. You're an attractive no. man. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, the first rule of late night, flirt with the host. Uh -huh. For this kind of money, you better more than flirt. Yeah, all right. Uh, anyway, no, no. The fact is that they let you play. Right. They let you have a good time. Um... And I think overall television was better in the long run, uh, not just in the talk shows. They were good, and they were damn good. But things like Wide Wide World, uh, Matinee Theater, um, five, a lot of uh, dramatic shows that were live in those days, but also with Dave Garraway and things. You went around the country, people that couldn't afford to see, forget Europe, or go to Asia or South America, to just see America. Mm -hmm. They took that camera and went to Grand Canyon, went to Yellowstone, went to Mount Rushmore, whatever, and you got to see your country that you live in. Right. Uh, you may not be able to afford, but it was more information, please, um, or uh, Omnibus with Alistair Cook. Right, so the, there was more, the, the television had a slightly more educational yeah. feel yeah. to it, you yeah. think? Well, what about now then with the, the, the comics now? Do you think the comics now, do you like the comedians now? The, uh, are they, I mean, because they deal uh, with uh, less uh, censorship than you guys were dealing with oh, back I in the day. Oh, I guess so. I know this. I saw, um, and you've certainly been familiar with the guy or heard about him, Dick Cavett, of who course, was yeah. interviewing uh, Groucho Marx uh, several years ago. And Groucho said, who to me was one of the funniest guys Absolutely. Of, of all time. All time, yeah. He was, he said, what I've always said, you can be, you can be dirty, you can be risque, you can be naughty, you can be blue, it's another thing to be filthy. Right. So, Filthy's I mean, for uh, home. That's for home amongst the family. Right. That's for the sergeant. Right. You know, like a son of a bitch. You know. Yeah. Um, I, I just, I know that you can be funny without being filthy. Right. Uh, can you, you teach me that, please? Yes. <laughs> well, you're a court... You're a court down. What? You're a court down. Please don't turn around. All right. Uh, leave that up to your imagination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done it. 
We're through the looking glass here, yes, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> now, and, and, and what about today? What are you doing? You, you kind of retired pretty much now, right? What do you do now? Well, I, I've taken all the mirrors out of my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, why look at an old person, you know? Yeah. I've been doing the you same. No, I've thing. been married. Uh, I'm really, you know, I'm not pinning any medals on myself. If any medals go to this lady that I'm married to, if we make it, uh, in September, uh, 11th of all times, you know that date. Yeah. But we were married September 11th, 1948, and we'll make 60 years. Wow. 60 years. Yeah. 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 Uh, but I, 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 I tell you seriously, I owe everything to my my gal, my lady. I mean, she's uh, she's in very bad health now, which I won't go into because. There are other people in worse health, but not much worse. Um, but whatever career that I've had, which had, to me, a pretty damn good career, got me out of Dayton and put me in New York, and I'm out here and yeah. made a few marks, uh, I owe to my wife. And um, I went to New York, a uh, long story very short, with $56.46, married and one child. And she said, uh, you know, you better make it in a year or come back here and sell, sell uh, agricultural equipment. So I came out of Columbus, Ohio, and television up there. But because she believed in me, and yeah. she still does, and I come in at weird hours just to kind of spook her, you know, I mean... Uh, you not, still do that today? Yeah, not, yeah okay, I mean, good. 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm not boozed or anything like that, or, yeah. or, or full of drugs, but just get her heart started, you know. Yeah. Uh, if the, I always say, leave the window open. That should tell her something. <laughs> and, you know, and I come in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, 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 oh. But, you know, it, it gets her going. So really what you're saying is keep the romance alive in order to... Uh... Any way you can do it. Right, yeah, yeah. I remember years ago, and I'm sure you do, you know. Yep. Years ago when we were young, when uh, my wife and I were young, and she said, uh, which I, I'm sure a lot of young ladies have said to their, their newlyweds, the husbands that were brand new, is that all you think about? Well, today at 82, that's all I can do is think about it. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. All right. I've had a good time, I've had a ball, I'm not a, a guy that's got some kind of chip on his shoulder, I made some decent money, I lost some money, but uh, I didn't lose it at the track or put it up my nose, you know. <laughs> Um, just lost it, uh, how did I lose it? I lost it on the bus one time. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you lost it, you would know, you, uh, if you knew where you lost it, you would know where it was. You know when people say, oh, it's always the last place you look, yeah, right. you know, when you find yeah. something, you go, well, yeah. no, it's the first place to look. I, th I just thought I would keep looking, it's, it's you know, right, yeah. to give myself something to do. Yeah. Don't you hate everybody? I do. <laughs> Well, if you do, I do, too. Okay, great. I love it. Thank Jonathan you. Winters, everybody. We'll be right back.